Hi everybody, this is a video demonstration for uh, technique sample number seven in our intermediate flat pattern class. Um, and I'm going to attempt to do this sample in CLO. Hopefully by now you've watched how to do it by hand on paper. Um, this is from your book on page 112. We're going to draft um, parallel darts, the cape effect. Okay, so full disclosure, this is my first time doing this in CLO. So um, I'm excited to learn along with you all. Um, if you guys have suggestions for a smarter way to do it, trust me, I am all ears. So, um, but yeah, I'm excited. This is going to be kind of fun. Okay, so um, this video is going to demonstrate figure one. So the first little bullet point in figure one says to trace our pattern. So here I just gave you the basic sloper. So I guess that's another version of tracing it. So there it is. And they want us to extend the shoulder um, one and one fourth inch. So you know what's interesting? Um, when we do this in the class, we only do this on the front bodice. And we don't even think about the back one. That's kind of weird. I think you would have to do this on the back as well for, you know, in order to sew it up. Hmm. It's interesting. But let's just focus on the front one like in class and we'll figure out what to do about the back because I want to sew this guy up and see what he looks like. Okay, so how about if I switch to just the 2D window to give us a little bit more space and I'm going to pan over just to our front sloper. Okay, so they want us to extend it one and one fourth inch. Okie dokie. So let's get our little selection tool. I still am learning the keyboard shortcuts to be honest with you. It looks like it's the letter Z. How can I remember that? Z. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's just in the bottom corner. Try to, and we use it all the time. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna click it. Ooh, I have lots of shapes here. Hmm. What happens if I hit the pattern? Okay. What happens if I right click it? Can I extend it? Let's try local. Nah. You know what though? I can move this line by playing with um, my angle. Maybe that's what I should do. What's that look like? Mm, what if I said 130? Oh. Oh. oh, you know, I'm going to hit both. Okay, not 130. Let's go 100. Oh, wait, what if I said 12? Oh, and I want it way longer so you can see. Ooh, 12 is closer. Um, 15, how there's a B? Okay. 15, what's that look like? I can't even tell if that moved. <gasps> 20. Oh, yeah, 20 is getting closer. I don't know if this is the best way. This probably isn't. 22, let's try 24. Oh, dear. 24. Yeah, maybe it's 24, maybe it's 23. Yeah, I think it's 23 degrees, that angle. Okay, so they want us to move it out um, an inch and a fourth, so we have to do that in decimal format, so that's 1.25. Um, if I don't hit both, yeah, I need to hit both, so it goes out. I'll say, okay. Okay. Alrighty, let's zoom in here. So I'm not even sure what that is, but we have a lot of shapes here. I probably need to go in and delete some of those shapes, don't I? Oops, not that one. Um, well, what's, what is this shape? Sorry, I gave you guys a messy file, it looks like. So I'm just kind of picking these shapes and kind of deleting them to get rid of them. If I go here, I just want to move it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I just want to move that to this point that I found. And then I don't need that guy. Why don't I just delete it? I don't need him. Is there two points there still? No, now there's only one. Okay, so he...